What's up Unboxers? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video I'm unboxing this little carbon monoxide detector. So as you can see it's a, it's a really small box so it should be a little small product. So I picked this one up from Amazon and this was advertised as like a voice speaking one which is probably the main reason I bought it. But it's also pretty affordable compared to some of them. Usually you can find them for about $30 to $40. Um, and I wanted to get a reliable one, and this one had tons of reviews, so I felt pretty confident, and that is why I have it in my hands now. So if you don't know, carbon monoxide is a harmful chemical or gas that can easily kill you. It's important to have a carbon monoxide detector in your basement. Some people even put it in their garage if they have cars and stuff, because there are some cars that accidentally start up, and if that were to start, it could fill your garage up and then eventually your house and kill your kids or kill your family which is a no bueno, and we do not want that to happen. So that is why they have these detectors. Um, and the main reason I brought that up was because it was in one of the reviews, so I should say that. So I just peeled off the glass there. It did come with batteries, which is definitely a good plus because I hate having to buy batteries. And apparently I never have the right one. One reason that I decided to pick this up is because I spend so much time in my basement. Another really cool thing is the fact that I have a wise cam and they have this smart feature, so if it detects a loud noise like a fire alarm or a carbon monoxide detector, it will actually alert me wirelessly. Oh. Welcome to use our voice carbon monoxide detector. Testing. Please wait two minutes. Voice recording complete. Okay, so it did speak to me. Please wait two minutes to get your voice recording complete. Please wait two minutes. Okay, so it did speak to me, which is cool because I wanted it to speak to me. Um, but it looks like it did come with some mounting screws. And I also got it because it's a very attractive design. It doesn't make you think of you another fire alarm. It actually looks really nice. It looks similar to the Nest Protect, and that's a completely smart um, sensor. And I was considering picking that up, but for its cost, I'll hold off on that one for a bit. It's going to read my parts per million. Um, so hopefully it's zero or close to zero because I do not want to uh, have to call someone to go check on that. I will be testing this uh, outside by my car to see if it can detect it inside my garage or something. I'll pull my car in and we can uh, turn my car on and put it by the exhaust fume. I don't know if that's the most scientific test, but it's the only way I can think of testing it. I am in no way sponsored or paid by this company. I literally just purchased this because I needed it and I might mount it right here on my wall. I don't know, but uh, it is counting down. So I'll, I'll be back once it's done counting down. Okay, so I, I just read the instructions a little bit more, and apparently uh, it doesn't alert you unless there is 30 to 999 parts per million. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, it does say zero. So that's what the little screen looks like, and we're going to test it really quick just by pressing the test button. Hopefully I don't go deaf. It has a little red and blue animation. So... I will definitely hear that. Let's go bring it around. Uh, I have a, my heater and stuff in the basement. I don't think it's leaking, but just to test it. Might as well, because I don't know how else to test this, like I said, so let's go. So we're walking. I might mount it on the wall right here. I mean, it, it's not that ugly of a device. It's kind of attractive. Okay, so we're over here. Um, it does say zero. I don't smell any gas or anything, so that's, I guess, a good sign. And I, I know it goes low. I know the gas is a little heavier, so it's likely to be lower. All right, I think we're good. Let's uh, go outside and try it out on my car. And like I've said a billion times, I'm not an expert, so do not dislike the video if I look weird trying to test it. Let's go outside. Here's my car. All right, so I don't really know, but I'm gonna put it by here. I don't know if- Attention please, oh. carbon monoxide gas leaking. Please open the window and the door. Oh my gosh, that worked. Oh my gosh, it worked. I did not think it was gonna work. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, for a second, I mean, I didn't think my basement was leaking, but I didn't know it would update, and it still says 999. That is so cool. It only took a couple of seconds, and it detected right away that the carbon monoxide was in the area. That is so awesome. All right, let's go. Let me turn back on the car, and let's walk over there and try it, because that is so cool. Okay, so it's still reading 99. Okay, now it's back at zero. So we put it by the exhaust. Okay, so it says carbon monoxide glass leak detected, open a window or a door so it alerts you right away that something is going on. So I'm definitely gonna feel a lot safer in my basement. Um, I did put it by it. I think this bottom grill is the sensor and my belief is that it takes a couple seconds for it to acknowledge that there is it. So it has like refresh rate and instead of wasting its battery and refreshing every millisecond, it's refreshing probably every five seconds. And that's why it may take a couple seconds before it alerts. But this does work. It is, I guess, verified. That's kind of cool. Um, because like sometimes when you're on Amazon, you don't know if the thing works and you don't want to be trusting something that doesn't work in your house. But I'll definitely have to leave a positive review. 
A link for this will be down below. I'll try finding the cheapest link and the exact link I picked this one up from. Um, but make sure if you're looking for them, don't buy anything cheaper than prob- This is probably the cheapest one. Do not buy anything cheaper than $20 because you want to make sure you get one that works. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and it does work. So I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Also hit the subscribe and like button um, because I'm starting to do more unboxing videos and I hope you enjoy them. Bye.